Last time, oh, holy cow. My voice, let me fix it. He 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 he. Yeah, this is fine. So last time we saw that the Black Soul Hall's lord whose name is Bai Qinglian wanted to cooperate with our protagonist to monitor all the movements of Empress Zero In. That's the reason he kidnapped Mr. Zhong. Mr. Zhong was curious that what they exactly going to do after monitoring the Empress. According to him our protagonist is just an ordinary man yet he values him so much and insists on protecting him. Bai Qinglian just wanted to deal with Lu Ocean, but he can't tell Mr. Zhong why he wants to. Bai Qinglian wanted to deal with Luli Ocean, which means the external force colluding with Luli Ocean is not Black Soul Palace. Bai Qinglian asks Mr. Zhong to think about it again. But in the past, Mr. Zhong was just a poorly scholar, he won the favor of the late emperor, so he became what he is today, and the empress is also like his niece whom he grew up with, that's why he'll never betray him his family. Hearing this, Bai Qinglian ordered his man named Su Fu to show his abilities to Mr. Zhong. Suddenly a man shows up and hits Mr. Zhong. He forcefully made Mr. Zhong eat a poisonous bug. It's a parasite that will eat Mr. Zhong every internal organ within three days if he doesn't smell the fragrance. Its feet will also pierce his lungs, skin, and flesh to suck blood. It will make Mr. Zhong living life a hell. But after eating the poisonous bug Mr. Zhong didn't even scream which left all of the people confused and made Su Fu really angry. Mr. Zhang didn't scream because the first emperor did not hesitate to lower his status for him and called him his brother. He is also a teacher and a friend. And Empress Zeroyan also called him her uncle since she was a child. So he would rather die standing up than live on his knees and instead of screaming he started laughing out loud. Bai Qinglian realized that it was no use and they can't blackmail him so he asked his man to kill Mr. Zhong. The man was about to kill Mr. Zhong so, he started to apologize in his mind to the empress, his daughter, and his wife because he can't help the empress anymore, can't watch his daughter marry and have children, and he shouldn't have quarreled to his wife last night. He already gave up on his life, but our protagonist arrives making a hole on the roof and leaving everyone shocked. Our protagonist jumps on top of the man who was about to kill Mr. Zhong and tells Mr. Zhong that he doesn't have to cry anymore because our protagonist is here to save him. Our protagonist is angry at everyone and will not forgive anyone who tried to hurt his cook. He decided to attack and kill them, ignoring the fact that Mr. Zhong is seeing him fighting. But Bai Qinglian stops our protagonist and tells him that Mr. Zhong has a bug in his stomach and it hurts so much that he will die from the pain. But our protagonist pointed at Mr. Song and tells everyone that he is totally fine he isn't even screaming and they are lying to our protagonist saying that Mr. Zhong will die because of pain. So, everyone recommended our protagonist ask Mr. Zhong himself and our protagonist asks Mr. Zhong if he really is dying. But Mr. Zhang forgot everything because of pain. Instead of answering he asks our protagonist if he really is the prince. So our protagonist tells my story that a little girl named Zhong Ling mentioned that when she was six years old she had a nasty father who purposely put his butt on her face before farting. Everyone busted into a laugh, and Mr. Zhong was freaked out because the little girl remembered the accident when she was six years old, and why our protagonist used this kind of thing to prove. Wait, 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 what the heck was he doing putting his butt onto his daughter? Well my mind is already turned into trash watching all these hentai. What the hell he was doing? Our protagonist asks them to bring the antidote. Su Fu brings the fragrance. And after smelling it, Mr. Zhong tells our protagonist that it is not an antidote it is just a fragrance to relieve the poisonous worm in his stomach from devouring his lungs. The Bai Qinglian and others asked if they can exchange their life for an antidote. And they can also conclude a blood contract. But Mr. Zhong refused to make a blood contract because it is the rule of heaven and earth. Once it is said it can't be violated. Once it is achieved our protagonist will never be able to take action against them. Mr. Zhong suggested our protagonist not to make any blood contracts because he is not scared of death. Bai Qinglian and others are now scared because the worst case happened they are not afraid of our protagonists. They are afraid of Mr. Zhong because he is not afraid of that death. And other side our protagonist decided to make the blood contract because if Mr. Zhong died who will cook such delicious food for our protagonist, 
and what's more if Mr. Zhong died the little girl will also cry to death. Our protagonist makes the blood contract and gets the antidote that will turn the poisonous worm into pus in three days after taking it. After taking the antidote our protagonist warns everyone and leaves with Mr. Zhong. As soon as our protagonist left, Bai Qinglian and his people again started making plans to take revenge on our protagonist. While they were discussing a green-haired girl noticed something and was shocked, she pushed Bai Qinglian and pointed at the gate. Bai Qinglian also got freaked out after noticing that thing. And it was our protagonist and Mr. Zhong who were peeping from the gate and listening to all the discussion of taking revenge on our protagonist. Our protagonist actually didn't leave he wanted to make sure they do something nasty again. Warp protagonist comes out and starts thinking of the words to describe this kind of person. After long thinking, our protagonist tells him that a dog can't stop himself from eating shit. Our protagonist wanted to give them a chance to get them on the right path. He also wanted to pay him the composition of breaking his roof but he is now very disappointed. Bai Qinglian started making excuses and tells him that it was just a misunderstanding and they even made a contract now. But our protagonist misunderstood and tells him that he estimated Bai Qinglian at first he thought that Bai Qinglian just wants to destroy his relationship with the Empress through Xiang Yuan Bai, the old man with his discipline. Our protagonist didn't expect him to have a search vicious mind. At first, Bai Qinglian tells our protagonist how can he use Xiang Yuan Bai because he is already killed by Hades. But after starting his shitty ass mind he realized and asked our protagonist if he is Hades. Our protagonist asked him not to talk nonsense because he doesn't kill innocent people because Xiang Yuan Bai committed suicide. They all got scared and our protagonist was about to attack. But Su Fu attacked by throwing up on our protagonist. And our protagonist obviously dodged and killed him by making a hole in the wall. Our protagonist provoked and violated the rules of heaven and earth. Bai Qinglian started making fun of our protagonist because he violated the rules of heaven and earth so he would get killed. The sky became dark and started thundering. Later, a dragon emerges from the sky to kill our protagonist. However, our protagonist even challenged the dragon that if you have guts, try to kill him. And guess what the dragon also got scared of our protagonist. And now he is on our protagonist's side. Later the dragon ran away and our protagonist broke the blood contract. By Qinglian again we started making some excuses. So our protagonist decided to give them a chance because he is always too soft-hearted. He tells them that he'll count to three and they have to tell him a good thing that they have done in their life. Later, our protagonist only counted three and killed them. Mr. Zhong is shocked to see our protagonist's power, but he warns him not to expose his strengths to anyone. He also tells him that Lu Yan and his daughter already know about his power and also promise to offer protagonists to keep it a secret from everyone. Sometime later outside, our protagonist takes Mr. Zhong to the storeroom of Black Soul Hall which was locked by chains. Our protagonist breaks the chain, and inside was a lot of gold worth 32 million stones. Mr. Zhong wanted to hand it over to the National Treasury because the tax revenue for Yan Dynasty for a whole year is only 10 million spirit stones so it's worth a lot. But our protagonist wanted it as composition he calculates all the fees like service phase, tuition fees, transportation fees, mental damage fees came up with 37 million spirits, stones so the Black Soul Hall still owes our protagonist 5 million more spirits, stones. In the next scene, we see our protagonist and Mr. Zhong in the air. Our protagonist details Mr. Zhong to be it as he cleared the corpses. After clearing the corpse Mr. Zhong asked our protagonist how strong he is and what realm he is in. However, our protagonist doesn't have any realm, and he doesn't even have an aura. His strength is a bit special, but he doesn't know how strong he is but fortunately, he is very good at controlling power otherwise Yan Dynasty would have destroyed country. After hearing that Mr. Zhang also requested our protagonist to teach him. But he got rejected. After that, they have a long chat but suddenly our protagonist felt like the empress who was trying to catch up with the Hades means our protagonist is arriving so, so our protagonist quickly left after riding this on the valley. The empress arrives and Mr. Zhong reports to her that he was captured by a man under the command of the Black Soul Hall and according to the Black Soul Hall's lord, 
named as Bai Qinglian said, and he wanted Mr. Zhong to protect the prince from being harmed by Louis Ocean. He tells her that suddenly Hades appeared wearing a black cloth, he killed everyone in the black soul hall, and gave Mr. Zhong the antidote he also asked Mr. Zhong to take all the treasures because he didn't like them at all. This left the empress confused and couldn't understand what Hades is trying to do, and according to Mr. Zhong, it seemed that he just wanted to see the Yen dynasty stable and didn't want the Yen dynasty to be affected by Black Soul Hall and Black Cloud Building. Mr. Zhong also gives the Empress a ring which the Hades gave her as a gift. My God this man lies so smoothly. He is like that person who calls 911, and instead of telling his emergency, he asks for their emergency. They decided to quickly rush back because his wife and daughter are both worried about him. On the other side, the general and the little girl was waiting for Mr. Zhong and as he arrives the general hugs him, while the little girl teases them because the old couple is overreacting. The scene switches, and we see the empress who is working alone and feeling lonely like you guys feel alone at midnight sometime later. The empress finished all the work and doesn't have much appetite now she heads back for the rest but outside our protagonist was waiting for her he cooked a hot pot supper for her. The empress was shocked to see him and asked why was he here sober protagonist tells her that he received the information from Lu Yen that the empress has a little habit, and that is every time she stays up late to deal with the government affairs she always have to eat something late at night alone so our protagonist decided to wait for her to eat, and in this way, she won't feel lonely. Later, some bullshit moments happens like He feeds her, she gets embarrassed, she fell in love, like every other typical romantic anime. Later they finish their dinner or food or whatever, our protagonist collects everything on his ring and was about to leave but the empress stops him. And the scene changes, in the next scene, we see both of them on the bed, nope they aren't doing that. The empress was just training in front of him our protagonist got bored but suddenly our protagonist noticed some light effect surrounding the empress and was amazed because he can't do it. He asked the Wonkai if he can give our protagonist this kind of light effect however. Wonkai tells him that this is not a light effect this is the empress's aura and this kind of purple aura is very noble and extremely rare and belongs to the orthodoxy of the human race. There are 3,000 volts of different sizes in this world and human reaches are all over the world, the inheritance of Taoism is different, and the emperor's bloodline belongs to the most orthodoxy lineage in the world of 3,000 realms. Our protagonist asked Wonkai to forget it and upgraded the system. And our protagonist again started at his wife and drooling over her. And as she opened her eyes our protagonist moved and tells her that he just took a look and didn't do anything. The empress was very happy, she turned off the lights or candles, and I asked our protagonist to have a rest and go to sleep. Sometime later at night the empress kisses our protagonist it was a reward because earlier he asked her a reward for feeding her. Nope you guys don't know because I escaped that part where they were having a nice dinner or supper. Another side, our protagonist totally embarrassed because it's just his first kiss is gone. And now he can't sleep. This is for today. And the video is late because I just received my first payment of YouTube. So I was just searching on YouTube like this. How can I become the richest person in the world under two days with $120 in the pocket? Have a nice day.